Hi there, this is Kristen Levine coming to you from Super Zoo in Las Vegas, Nevada, one of the biggest pet product trade shows uh, in the country. And I'm here with Gordy Spader, my friend, who is uh, the owner of one of my favorite companies in the pet industry. It's called Kurgo, and they help people and pets go places together. So welcome. Thanks for having me. So, you know, you could almost say that we're really in the gilded age of the pet industry right now. We've had 20 years of solid growth. Um, people are spending more on their pets than ever before. We're seemingly recession-proof. Um, but what, what, what are your thoughts about the industry's growth for the next, say, 10, 20 years? Right. Um, you know, with the demographic changes that are ahead. Right. So I think it's a great, I mean, the, the uh, baby boomers have been a huge part of the growth of the pet industry. And, but what I think the benefit, the thing that they brought forward is the benefits of owning a pet and that that then translates into many other members of the other age brackets. Um, and we are, as an industry, actually doing a lot of research also into looking at how the impact that the animal, owning a pet, especially dogs and cats and, and other pets on, uh, on health for people. So that actually extends, that's great for the baby boomer population, that's the Habri Research, uh, right. Human Animal Bond Research Institute, and then that obviously has impacts of different people at different ages. So right. it, it, that is something that everyone in the industry is looking at, And uh, but at the same time I think that the, the, this boom has created much closer ties between humans and their pets. So that's something that people are, I think, are going to be reluctant to give up. Right, right. But well, I think you're right, and I hope you're right too. I read somewhere recently that uh, pet ownership drops off pretty significantly after age 70, and even greater drop off at 75. Is there anything, you know, in your business um, with the travel products and the, and the lifestyle products? Is there a way that we can help this this group of pet lovers keep their pets longer? Well, I think there are some things that we've done. A lot of the products that we have are for traveling with your dogs and make it easier. And that travel can be just down to the store and back. And what that does is that does promote a healthier lifestyle. It gives you a reason to get out and enjoy the world together with your dog. So I think providing things that make, make that transportation and that association between the owner and their pet easier mm -hmm. are things that will make it more appealing to people to keep their dog for a longer period of time. What are your thoughts on what's going to happen uh, in pet travel over the next 10 years? So I think that if you look over, the, it's a lot of what we were talking about was kind of beyond the next 10 years, mm -hmm. but if you look over the next 10 years, mm -hmm. I mean, as, as you said, boomers really love, are getting to a point where they have more time to travel yes. and really want to travel. And everything that we make is about you and your dog getting out and doing things together. So right. traveling together and enjoying the world together. So I think that's going to be an increasing trend where people now feel that they can bring their dog with them. And we've seen that in the APPA data yeah. that you see a 12% increase over the last 10 years in if I'm going on a two or more day vacation, then I'm going to bring that dog with me. Right. So I think that speaks directly to this audience, whether they're going to visit their grandkids or right. going to visit their friends or whatever, it's much more acceptable to bring that dog with you. Right. And everything we do is about bringing that dog with you. So it, I feel like that's, for us personally, sure. I think there's a real match there between what we're doing and what the, this, you know, your audience here was interested right. in doing. Excellent. Yeah. Well, we love our cargo products, Chili nice. Loves us, and um, we are always spreading the word about safety and the, and the conveniences that cargo products offer, and uh, you're a great contributor to our industry. So thanks for your time today. Thank you for having me. Okay.